That was my question. If it gets out to the ocean, what are we going to do? Are we just going to freely let the Love Canal contaminate all the water? It's still more than needs to be there. Who's doing what about it? Is anybody doing about it? Does the government care? Does, the Ni does Niagara Falls care? Does the EPA care? Does anybody care? I never got an answer. I never got an answer, and I was kind of mad about it. For over 40 years, Hooker Chemical Corporation dumped over 80 toxic substances at Love Canal. And the poisons are now seeping into the homes built over the deposit site. Well, we have got abnormalities in our chromosomes, and uh, we've known it all along that on our street alone there has been already eight cases of cancer on a 15-house street. As serious illnesses rise, panic sets in, and home values nosedive. The community has raised its voice for years, but government fails to respond until now. Love Canal uh, was originally dug 1800s by William T. Love. Uh, his concept was he was going to build a canal from the Niagara River, which is about a quarter of a mile that way, to Lake Ontario, I believe, so that ships could get through and all that good stuff. Nikola Tesla, once he invented uh, alternating current, decided that the canal was no longer needed, so William T. Love scrapped the project and sold the property to Hooker Chemical Company of Niagara Falls, New York, somewhere in the 1940s. Hooker Chemical decided that they were going to use the property for their waste, manufacturing chemicals and such. So they decided that they were going to use this, this area behind me, behind this gate, for 268 chemicals, 21,000 tons is behind me, behind this gate. This is one little section that runs from Colvin Boulevard to Frontier Avenue. And then there's another section that runs from beyond the LaSalle Expressway to the Niagara River. These brown buildings behind me uh, are the filtration systems for this, this uh, containment area that they have uh, for the chemicals. From my understanding, there's some pretty dangerous health risking chemicals here. This was once a community of 240 houses and a school. However, they plowed it all over and what you have left is a hill and a lot of chemicals. I think it was like 78 is when all this came out. Uh, Lois Gibbs decided that because she was getting chemicals and stuff in her basement, that she was going to take it to the government and try to put a stop to all this because it was making kids sick. I guess uh, four out of every eight kids born then from 1974 to 1978 wound up with birth defects, which is kind of sad. That's pretty high. Over here on 96 in Colvin Boulevard, January of 2011, they were working on the road. They had to dig it up and they found that there was a pipe it was broken under the road. It had traces of the chemicals right here. I was here for it. I saw them digging up the ground. I saw them. They had like 13 big red dumpsters full of the earth that was over there because it was all contaminated. And I watched. Uh, I watched a couple trucks trucking it out. The reason they won't remove all this stuff is because it's too costly. It's it's too much to try to do something with.
when my when my children were little, I used to come out to Love Canal. Uh, we'd drive around at night, big old mag lights, each of us, trying to spot deer. Not not illegally, not to shoot, not to hunt, nothing like that. My daughter Angel actually has a fascination for deer. She really likes them. As the years went on and I moved away and stuff like that, I kind of forgot about Love Canal for, for a long time. When I came back to Niagara Falls in 2011, I found a real interest in Love Canal again. Um, I, I thought it was disgusting that people, that people felt as though they could treat the place like it was a big dump, which really, in theory, it is. I've chased some people here. I, I, I've literally chased them in my, in my vehicles, trying to stop them from dumping. I guess in a way I'm kind of like acting like a cop even though I'm really not. In an effort to try to stop something from happening, somebody has to do something. City of Niagara Falls isn't going to do anything. Obviously, they, they do as little as they can. That's why we have 21,000 tons of, of chemicals behind us that are harmful to everybody. And that's why we have stuff all over the roads out here. Nobody cares. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have any money. I can't do anything with it personally. I'd love to see this area cleaned up. I'd love to see this whole area rebuilt. I would love to see that. But between you and I, I don't think it's gonna happen. And as the, as the, as the ground continues to erode over here at the river, I imagine that we're probably only gonna be in for some more more chemicals leaking and, and doing whatever we're gonna do. It, it makes me nervous to think that someday, you know, if, if something's not done, or if, if it's not even under control in any way, that, you know, the, the world could be looking at some real problems, all because of right here.